To set up the puller from the transport position, first unwind the power and foot switch cords. The puller uses a standard 115 volt 15 amp plug. To change the puller from the transport position to the primary operating position, grasp the transport pin at the front of the puller and rotate the puller backwards until the rear foot rests on the ground. Ensure that neither the foot switch nor the power cord is underneath the foot of the puller. Most pulling operations are conducted with the puller in this position. The boom can be adjusted to fit various positions. The first step is to remove the transport pin. Then remove the pin which locks the position of the boom to the base frame. The boom can then be rotated into a new position and locked into place. The boom can be adjusted to various positions at 15 degree intervals. There are several sizes of conduit adapters to suit various sizes of conduit. The adapters have an opening on one side to pass the rope through. To install an adapter, remove the locking pin and wrist pin. Install the conduit adapter and replace the locking pin and wrist pin. The conduit adapter can be adjusted to various angles to suit the direction of the conduit exit. This position shows the adapter setup for pulling up from the bottom of a box. The locking pin can be removed and the adapter rotated to suit a horizontal conduit. The adapter can be adjusted to various positions at 7.5 degree intervals by using either of the two holes for the locking pin. For some positions, it is necessary to remove and rotate the conduit adapter. For this particular boom position, the adapter in this position is suited for a vertical pull from the top of a box. This is the typical layout for pulling rope on the puller. The rope is given multiple wraps on the capstan, then over the deflector shiv. The speed of the puller is controlled by a toggle switch. To change speed, stop the motor, flip the switch, and resume pulling. In order to transport the puller, the conduit adapter and boom must be in the correct position. First, rotate the conduit adapter to its most rearward position. Next, rotate the boom until it is vertical.
Then install the transport pin into the upper hole on the boom. Now grasp the transport pin and rotate the puller frame forwards. Rewind the foot switch and power cable onto the foot of the puller frame. The puller is then ready to move. To steer or turn the puller, push down on the transport pin to raise the rear wheels off the ground. Rotate the puller about the front wheels and then lower it back to the ground. 